That's a big physical difference. Look at those cool muscles with the steel cord forearms. Yeah, right. Those are the definition. I won't hurt you. I only want you to lift some weights. Welcome to the Quick Pump Channel. Are you exhausted? You feel just dragging? No real energy to push it to the limit? Forget all that. Today, we're going to try a technique in which we don't have to push it to the limit, but we're going to get more results. Uh, it's with the uh, compound movement to start the show and it'll ignite the rest. What I'm talking about is 10 sets of three. 10 sets of three in the compound movement. Think about it. Last time, I did three sets of five and it just wore me out and yeah I was exhausted and I wasn't ready for that today I'm going to try 10 sets of 3 so I'm going to double the amount of reps I get with the same amount of weight so let's get it together chillax let's go crazy all right, first set, here we go. 205, last time I was bench, I was working with 205. One, two, three. No problem. Here we go, set number two. Now what I'm doing, I'm taking the same amount of breath as I did with my sets of, uh, my conventional sets. So I'm taking anywhere from two to five minutes. I'm not rushing back into it. And as I continue in the sets, it feel, feels better and better. Like, hmm, what's going to go wrong? But I keep feeling better and better. But for all the people to try this out, if you're not feeling up to doing a compound movement, it's a lot of people might say, well, just avoid the compound movement. Well, if it's a compound movement you like and you feel like you get results from it, uh, this is the way to keep going for it. Compound movements, they say they don't work ideally, the individual muscles, I think it's not completely true if it works good for you and it helps you uh, sometimes it can help get those smaller muscles beyond what a simple isolation movement can do yeah okay it's not through the full range of motion for the chest let's say but you're loading it more than you would with an isolation movement and who's to say for you that's not your optimal range of motion as opposed to full range of motion. And you'll, you see a lot of big freaks out there and you say, oh man, they're not using full range of motion, but would you say it to them? Because it's obviously working because they have whatever optimal range of motion working for them and they're huge. So I think compounds need, need another look, whether it's squats for use, maybe no squats for me, Maybe I'll give squats another try. Maybe there's so many different ways to position the bar. Maybe just don't give up on compounds, but don't let them kick your butt. This is one way not to let them kick your butt.
so I just keep getting better and better. By doing this, I actually had more energy for the rest of my workout. I was like, ah, this one's out of the way. I'm not all dragged out, you know. Lately, my diet's been not ideal. I've been trying keto, but of course I haven't been doing it properly. I haven't been getting enough fat. Uh, lately, I've been trying to get more fat, and it's helping. It's not ideal, I don't think, but I'm dealing with it. Work, at work, very busy all the time. Even on breaks, they're, they're, they're bothering you about getting this done or what happened here, what this, like, yeah, it's constant. So it's not the worst it could be, but it's when I get home lately, I'm just exhausted. I don't feel like working out, but this day, I was like, you know what? Let me try this. And, it's, and it works for me. So I think if you give it a try, it might work for you. Just keep feeling fine. They keep going. I know that struggling. It's like cool. It's like last time, yeah, I was exhausted and my diet was even worse. But still, I got three, let's say three sets of five. That's like 15 reps. Today I'm going to achieve over 30 reps because the last set I do one more. I could have done a little bit more but there. See, that was four reps, but I was like, yeah, this is good. Okay, next one, pec press down. There's a YouTuber named Coach Castle. I seen these him doing these on his channel, and I'll link it below. I was like, why haven't I been doing these over the years? It's like a tricep press down, but for your chest. You're facing the other way. You have the chain or cable parallel with the forearm. As you do, just keep it in line. And it's almost like you're doing a fly slash push down with your pec. You can really feel it. It really works it. Definitely going to try these more often. I'm going to incorporate these more and more. And you don't even need a lap pull-down machine to do these. I'm gonna, in the video I link, he'll, he'll show you the setup where uh, just some simple cables. You could use even a bag of sand or whatever uh, to do these. And it's freaking amazing. You could do tricep press down too, of course, and lat work with it the way he does it. But yeah, it's kind of amazing. I'll show you that. It'll, it'll be shown in the link below. All right, Matt Poland's rest in peace, Doug Brignoli. These I definitely stole from Doug Brignoli. I position them so I feel it most of my lat. I think it might be a little bit different from the positioning that you recommend, but I'm not. I'm not really sure, but yeah, I definitely feel it stretch. It's a great feeling. Pretty much fried. 
side. Just kind of picking the bones from here. The neutral grip, sort of.